good morning dear students today we are going to see the further questions of the trigonometric ratios which we have started so as i am getting the messages that you are not you have you haven't understand the first three question properly so a quick recap i am taking the third question so but just try to understand from this one okay so the question is uh, we need to find tan b this is the figure given to us in which uh, this is a right angled triangle right angled at a this is b and this is c we are given with the base no we are given with this uh, say for example this is the base and this is the perpendicular and we don't have this longest side which is the hypotenuse so by pythagoras theorem first of all by the pythagoras theorem we need to find the hypotenuse of it using pythagoras theorem pgt i'm giving a short form as pgt okay that is hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square base is what bc so bc square is equal to uh, you consider be, uh, perpendicular as this one or this one not an issue so uh, c square plus b square so what can be bc under root of c square plus b square so this we have c square plus b square now keep it as it is now take first question tan b okay so tan b we need to find now our angle is on this b because we need to find tan b okay that means our theta is in on which angle the b angle now as i told you that if you have this triangle and if here you have theta then the opposite of that is always the perpendicular okay so opposite of theta is always the perpendicular okay and we already know this is the hypotenuse and this will be the base so same logic we are going to use in this triangle 2 this is the theta so opposite line that means this this becomes the perpendicular so as we know tan theta is what perpendicular upon base what is your perpendicular if tan b that means theta is on b opposite of b is what perpendicular that is b upon what is the base uh, sorry if this is the perpendicular this will be the base so b upon c always remember hypotenuse will be fixed even if you have theta here or here only the perpendicular and base changes the hypotenuse remains the same okay now if you see uh, say for example c1 so sine b again the theta is on b you won't perpendicular upon hypotenuse perpendicular is b hypotenuse is under root b square plus c square if you see uh, cos c now your theta is in which your theta is in c okay so opposite of theta is what the perpendicular now this becomes the perpendicular and this becomes the base and this hypotenuse is same so cos is what base upon hypotenuse so right now the base is what b so b upon hypotenuse is what under root of c square plus b square i hope you have understood this okay now let us come to the sixth question see uh, i have not i'm not doing fourth and fifth one why because uh, i see that those questions are easy for you to do if you could understand the first three question and this sixth question you can easily do fourth and fifth one so just give a try and if you want to understand then you can ask me so uh, the sixth question says that if in triangle abc see so as they're saying that triangle abc they haven't said this is a right angled triangle or you are given with uh, one angle is right angle triangle this is only triangle abc where you have ab is to bc is to ca as 3 is to 4 is to 5 then find the values of the following sin a cos c tan c plus sec c so uh, what how to proceed in this question see let a b is equal to 3x b c equal to 4x and c a is equal to 5x why we are considering x because this is in ratio and when we remove the ratio we need to multiply it with some quantity the same quantity that is we are considering the x okay now let us square both the side on squaring a b we write we denote this as a b square 
we don't write that a square b square but we denote this as a b the whole square because this is a side uh, side a b so squaring on it we get we write this is the way of writing a b square is equal to 9 x square b c square is equal to 16 x square c a square is equal to 25 x square now we need to see that the relation between these three on uh, applying it in the pythagoras theorem so what pythagoras theorem th says that the square of the sum of the squares of two quantities is equal uh, two sides is equal to the square of the other side so if i add 9x square with 16x square we are getting 25x square so can we write ab square plus bc square is equal to ca square hence this is a application of pythagoras theorem so we can say that ca is hypotenuse and ab and ca uh, will be perpendicular base or vice versa so uh, ca we have denoted this as perpendicular and perpendicular is what 5x so 5x ab is what 3x so 3x and bc base is what 4x now we can easily do the things what is sine a so sine a can we find sine a yes the angle is on a that means the theta is here opposite of theta perpendicular so this becomes the perpendicular this becomes the base and hypotenuse is always fixed so sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse sorry perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sine a perpendicular upon base that is 4x upon 3x 4 upon 3 what will be b cos a base upon hypotenuse so base is what the base is 3x so 3x upon hypotenuse sorry uh, hypotenuse is 5x no so 3 upon 5 okay and uh, cos is what base upon hypotenuse base is what 3x hypotenuse is 5x so 3 upon 5 now can you find tan c plus sec of c so uh, how can we find tan c that means now the angle is on c so this is the theta so whatever we are following that means this is the base this is the perpendicular so tan is what perpendicular upon base so perpendicular upon base 3 by 4 plus sec is what hypotenuse upon base so hypotenuse upon base okay so uh, i've i'm not writing x because that will be cancelled okay now 3 plus, uh, as they are of same so 3 plus 5 is what 8 8 by 4 is what 2 so as i see that in the answer sheet these two answers are not matching but uh, in the answer sheet uh, it is wrong given okay this is the correct okay so don't worry about this this answer is correct okay okay if you see the seventh question you have such figure okay wherein uh, you have two right angled uh, angles here at D and B and two triangle right angle triangle A B C right angled at B and another right angled A D C right angled at D this is 2 cm given this is 4 cm given and this is under root of 21 we need to find this A B and this A C side okay just to solve the question of it okay because in this right angle triangle you don't have perpendicular and hypotenuse but in this right angle triangle you have base and this uh, perpendicular or perpendicular or the base vice versa you don't have hypotenuse so first to find ac and ab in right angle triangle acd acd ac square ac square is equal to ad square plus cd square by the pgt so a square ad is what 2 square and cd is what under root of 21 the square 2 square is 4 this square to with this root 21 4 plus 21 25 root of 25 is what 5 centimeter now come to the right angle triangle abc now what is this we got we got this as 5 centimeter this is 4 this is 5 this will be 3 see you just remember the pythagoras triplet what does this pythagoras triplet says they we write 3 4 5 so these are the pythagoras triplet if you have perpendicular 3 base 4 then we'll always get 5 as a 
uh, hypotenuse when you'll solve the question of this no you'll understand this uh, how this pairing works okay so that this is the proof here we need to find a b okay so this is perpendicular so perpendicular square is what hypotenuse square minus base square okay i have taken the thing uh, the hypotenuse uh, sorry base that side so perpendicular square will be hypotenuse minus base this is the solution ab is equal to 3 cm now you can easily do uh, the questions say for example i am taking b that is cos phi so this is phi we need to find cos uh, base upon hypotenuse is the formula but for that we need what will be the base so how to detect base i told you this is phi opposite of line this will be the perpendicular that means this will be the base so base upon hypotenuse is always same so 2 upon 5 is the answer similarly you do the two questions okay okay let us come to the ninth question just try for the eighth one okay in the adjoining figure abc uh, is an isosceles triangle we know the property of isosceles triangle two sides are equal to add uh, adjacent sides are equal in which ab is equal to ac that means if this is the figure then ab is equal to ac that means if this is 5 centimeter then this is also 5 centimeter then find the values of tan theta sin 90 minus theta sec theta plus cos 90 minus theta okay so if this is 5 centimeter this is also 5 centimeter we have already written now we have 5 here, 3 here, we don't have this value as in this is 90 degree, so this is also 90 degree okay uh, by the linear pair we know that the full it is 180 degree if this is 90 then this will be 180 minus 90 so 90 only okay so uh, using PGT in ADC uh, hypotenuse, is, hypotenuse is given to us, base is given perpendicular so perpendicular square is hypotenuse square minus base square on solving we got AD is equal to 4 cm so this is what 4 cm similarly we don't have the base here so uh, what is base square it is hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square similarly we got BD as 3 cm okay now see this is the part of solution so you need to write this thing I am rubbing here because there is no space to solve so that is why I am rubbing here you don't you have to write this okay this is C now as in the question if you see this 90 minus theta this is creating some problem for us so let us see what is actually this 90 minus theta uh, see this is theta this is 90 degree can we find this angle by the angle sum property so angle B as as angle BAD plus ABD plus ADB is equal to 180 degree this angle plus this angle plus this angle in a triangle angle of all the sum is what 180 degree we have BAD what is BAD theta so theta plus ABD we don't have so just write as it is plus ADB is what 90 degree so 90 degree equal to 180 degree take 90 that side so 180 minus 90 is what 90 now theta that side so finally what we have this angle is nothing but 90 minus theta so angle ABD is what 90 minus theta this is also the part of solution please do uh, write this thing in the fair copy okay I am rubbing it right now okay because of lack of space now tan theta so tan theta now tan theta theta that means this is the angle opposite of theta is what perpendicular so I think we have found this this is 4 coming okay so 4 upon the base that is 5 so the first answer is what 4 upon 5 okay then uh, sorry sorry this is 3 actually I thought this is 3 okay it is looking like 3 this is 5 4 and this is 3 so tan theta this is the perpendicular so perpendicular is what 3 upon base 5 okay then uh, sine 90 minus theta what is 90 minus theta this is nothing but B angle so if this is your that means if this full is theta we are considering this as theta opposite of this is what 
perpendicular so perpendicular upon hypotenuse is sin 90 minus theta or you just write this is nothing sin b this is b okay so perpendicular upon hypotenuse ad upon perpendicular upon hypotenuse is ab ad is what 4 and ab is what 5 so the second answer is 4 upon 5 similarly you do the things okay okay now let us come to some different kind of question which is on the trigonometric on finding the value of trigonometric ratios and expressing the trigonometric uh, ratio or ratios you are given with sin theta is equal to 5 upon 13 then we need to find certain questions are given to us so let us solve such type of questions we know that sin theta is what perpendicular upon hypotenuse okay so whenever you have this thing so you write sin theta which is perpendicular or hypon upon hypotenuse 5 upon 13 make a right angled triangle theta give theta here now if the theta is here then this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse that means this is perpendicular is what 5 and hypotenuse is what 13 can we find the hypotenuse sorry this is the hypotenuse can we find the base give this as abc triangle okay so can we find the base we know that base square is what hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square using pgt see sometimes or i think many times i don't write such things as using pgt pgt using this uh, identity using that formula or this and that but please you mention this in the solution because you need to represent your solution in a very good way in examination then only you will get the proper marking okay 13 square is 169 minus 25 169 minus 125 is 144 which is the square of 12 so the final answer is 12 so your base is what 12 now you can easily find the things cos theta what will be cos theta base upon hypotenuse base is 12 hypotenuse is uh, 5 so 12 by 5 tan theta also you can find cosec theta also you can find tan theta plus 1 upon cos theta see tan theta plus 1 upon cos theta 1 upon cos theta can be written as what sec theta now can you easily find yes okay similarly you can do 11th 12th and up to 13th question you do okay i hope you will do it if you have any problem then surely you can ask till that do the practice okay thank you so much that's it for today thank you so much have a nice day bye bye